Uncle, my friend Amit changed the desktop background image with the image of his pet dog. Can I do the same in my computer? Definitely, Renny. You can always change the desktop background. How can I do it? Don't worry. I'll show you how to do it. But first, do you know what an operating system is? Hmm. Hmm. You must have forgotten. An operating system is a system software that acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user. You have MS Windows Seven operating system on your computer. Is the desktop background a part of my MS Windows operating system? Yes, Windows Desktop is the first screen that appears when you switch on the computer. The background image of Windows Desktop is the desktop background. It is also known as the wallpaper. Let me now show you how to change the desktop background. First, right-click at any empty area on the desktop. The pop-up menu appears. Click the Personalize option. Then, click the Desktop Background option. A new window appears. Now, select any option from the picture location. Choose the picture you want. You can adjust the position of your picture using the Picture Position option. Finally, click the Save Changes button. The desktop background of your computer will be changed according to the picture you have chosen. Thank you, Clico. Now I can change my desktop background. It's okay. You can also change the screen saver too. What is the screen saver? Have you seen some moving images on the monitor when the computer is left idle for some times? When you move the mouse or press and key on the keyboard, the desktop appears once again. These moving graphics are called screen savers. How can we change the screen saver? You can change the screen saver by the following steps. First, right click on any empty space in the desktop screen. Then, click on the personalize option. Click the Screen Saver option. A new window opens. Now, select any screen saver from the Screen Saver list box. You can also preview the selected screen by clicking on the Preview button. You can also set the number of minutes in the Wait box. After making your choices, click on the Apply button. Then, click the OK button. The screen saver of your computer will change according to the selected option. Clico, I have seen Amit's desktop screen. It is of a different color than mine. Can it be changed too? Yes, Renny. You can change the window's color too. These are the steps to change the window color. First, Click on a blank space in the desktop screen. Then, click on the Personalize option. After that, click on the Window Color option. Then, select any color of your choice. At the end, click on the Save Changes button. Look, the window color of your computer has changed to the color you have selected. In Amit's desktop screen, I have seen a clock on the top corner. Can I also have a clock on my desktop? Yes, Renny. You can have some more gadgets on the desktop and screen beside a clock. Gadgets? Gadgets are mini programs that provide information at a glance and easy access to frequently used tools. These are some of the popular gadgets that you might be interested in. A clock gadget displays the time. You can change the clock style and clock name by clicking on the icon. 
The slide show gadget shows the continuous slide of pictures on your system. The weather gadget provides the weather information of any place around the world. How do I add a gadget in my desktop screen? Here are the steps to add a gadget on your desktop. First, right click at any empty area on the desktop and click gadget option. The gadget windows open. Then, double click at the required gadgets and the gadgets will automatically get placed on the right side of the desktop. Do you know what the control panel is for in the operating system? Mm, no idea, Clico. The control panel has special tools which can change the way Windows looks or behaves. How do we open the control panel? These are the steps to open the control panel. First, click the start button. Then, click the control panel. The control panel window will appear on the screen with a number of options. Thank you for the information, Clico. One more thing that I still don't know is how I can record my voice in the computer. To record your voice, you will need the sound recorder program of Windows. You will also have to attach a microphone to the computer for this purpose. Show me the steps to record my voice in my computer. Okay, first click the start button. Then click the all program. Then click the accessories. Now click the sound recorder. The sound recorder program will open. Now click the start recording button. Look, the timer has started and the sound recording button changed to stop recording. Now start speaking into the microphone. Whatever you want to record. After you finish, click the stop recording button to stop the recording. When you close the sound recorder window, the save as dialog box appears so that you can save the recording. To save the recorded voice, first give a name to the audio file in the file name text box. Now click the save button. The recording is saved. Thank you, Clico. Now I know how to record my voice. Now please let me know how to open a game in Windows 7. Sure, Renny. Windows 7 has a number of inbuilt games. Look, these are some of the games on MS Windows 7. These are the steps to open a game. First, click the Start button. Then, click All Program. Then, click Game. Now, choose the game you wish to play. The game will appear on the screen and you can play it. Thank you, Clico. I now can play games on the computer.